Hey guys, Twitch Nitro here from Industrial Dimensions Videos. I am in my uh, creative world here where I test out all of my uh, gizmos and gadgets and uh, evil stuff that I put into things. But we won't look over there that much because I don't want people to see it. Um, I'm just going to do a very quick and simple uh, redstone tutorial. Um, one of maybe many, I'm not entirely sure. These are the different things we'll be using. I'll go through them in a minute. Um, we'll be just looking quickly at basic logic gates, uh, why they're useful, and I'm doing this mainly because a lot of people find it quite difficult. I mean, if you do if you do stuff like uh, electronics or computing or ICT, you probably know a lot of stuff about gates and things, and even then, some people don't quite know how to translate that into uh into redstone. Yeah. So these will blocks we'll be using. I'll be using this block here for the main output. This block here will be one of the inputs, input and input. This will hold the, the stuff. Um, the reason why a lot of people use different colored wall locks and stuff when doing redstone and stuff is because it can get very complicated and confusing. You want to know what each signal does or where each signal has come from. So you can use the different wall blocks to great effect. If you're playing legit Minecraft, uh, you probably don't want to use wall blocks. Obvious reasons. They burn, for one. Uh, and if a creeper explodes, it's going to take out a heck of a lot of stuff. Um, this, I love this block, obviously. This is going to be used to represent the output when it's on, it's on, or high, or, you know, what have you. Yeah, nice. I like these blocks. Uh, make a disco room. <laughs> Oops. Um, this is obviously ooh, a uh, switch. This is a repeater uh, used to extend or delay or make a clock, which we'll go into as well. Um, obviously redstone and a redstone torch. So I'm going to go over here first, um, just in case you don't know. Redstone only travels 15 blocks. 15 blocks. See, I, I thought it was 14, but it, it, I counted this and it is 15. Um, feel free to count yourself. There you go. There you go, yep. And uh, obviously these aren't on. If you wanted these to be on, you'd have to stick a repeater in it, but then again, if you do that, then this bit turns off. There's a way around that. You can sort of jump the signal. There you go. Quick jump of the signal there. If you want to put in that quickly, and then you can take an input from every bit of the line. Um, there are other ways of actually making a repeater that doesn't delay. Um, we may go into that later. See, this is a switch. On, on, off, off. This is just a straight redstone line. Now into the first logic gate. Uh, this is an inverter. This takes your input, whether it's high or low, or on or off, one or zero, and then turns it into the opposite. Or the inverted, you know, inverter, yeah, opposite, yeah. Uh, it's quite simple. <laughs> um, or a complement, or whatever you want to call it, if you do uh, computing studies. If you don't, then obviously you might not know any of those words. Those are the words that you might want to have a look up. So this is off at the moment, but the output is on, so obviously, you know, it's the complete opposite. And this is base the basic sort of... This is the crux of all logic. All logic stems from being able to take an on and make it off. Uh, you know, yes is no, no is yes, up is down, cats and dogs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is an OR gate. Uh, what an OR gate does is it takes this input or this input. Um, you could think of it as sort of like a redstone if statement if you do programming. Um, th if this is on, the output is on. If this is also on, the output is going to be on as well. If they're both off, it's obviously off. And if it's on, uh, if one is on, that's on. This is on, that's on. Doesn't really matter. You could use it for some staircase lighting, perhaps in your Minecraft house. You know, if you're downstairs, you want to turn the light on upstairs. Now it's on. Now you're upstairs. Oh, actually, actually, uh, yeah, I think I'll do a little tutorial about how to make that work properly. So when you're upstairs and you turn this one on, then that one goes. It's, uh, probably uses latches. So this, you just want to basically take the inputs and then fuse them into one wire. Very, very simple. This over here, another very interesting piece of kit, is an AND gate. Um, now, this is different because you need both of them on. So you need this input AND this input. See? Woo. Now it's on. And as soon as you turn... So this can be used for things... Uh, 
perhaps a detector type things where you have to if you have a door you know you can stand on a thing and um, it's really up to you how you use it but you can use these gates to form very complicated logic circuits uh, there's also uh, nor varieties or complement varieties of these two gates um, there is another way of making this which I'll quickly show you uh, make a line of this now this is something I had to make uh, when I wanted more than two inputs because I wanted to make something clever and you know, I wanted it to have lots and lots of inputs so this is one way of making such a thing um, with this here and then this here and then this here and then let's see there's another one here another blue one here oops bit of lag there we go um, doesn't really make sense because it's multiple of the same color but then if these are going in while any one of these is on this redstone line is going to be lit up which will turn this off uh, you don't have to you know you don't have to have the output off but it's one way of doing it so if we have our switches this is one way of doing it uh, it uses both sides I have done it so it works on one side um, I'll show you that as well. There we go. And, uh, no, I don't want a torch. I want the switch. And there we go. See, now these are included. And that way you can have all of your redstone coming in one line straight to the thing. And uh, you just keep coming out and you can come out and go and go and go and keep going off into the distance. Well, I mean, until you reach a point where you need to use a repeater, obviously. <laughs> Two signals converging onto a wire equals or gate. Um actually you could turn in this this into a not gate. Uh, uh sorry, a nor gate. A nor gate this would be. That's uh, that there we go. Nor gate. It just uses a uh, a not a uh, not gate, basically. So this is obviously the nor part and then this is the the inverter. Um and that's a nor gate. Uh, same thing with the AND gate. I mean, I did it here, basically. This is an AND gate. All of the signals are... When they're all on, the output is off. This is a compact... I mean... If I want to turn this into a AND gate... Now it's an AND gate. No, that's not... Now it's an AND gate. And onto vertical wiring. So this is quite useful if you want to get one signal from down here all the way up here without building a massive ladder of redstone where you need to like you know use repeaters I mean these ladders of redstone they work quite well it's okay um, I, I will actually show you something nifty with the ladders of redstone actually uh, on obviously but you see if you put a block here any, any will do it blocks off the redstone um, something you can do yoink oh damn stupid glowstone um, oh, lag. Uh, if you put this here, it will actually pass through this glowstone and up into it. So that's a useful tip using glowstone there. If you want to block off your redstone circuitry so, you know, no one can see it or something and this bit's annoying you, you can do that. I think, I think you can... Thing. So this is the first one. Obviously it's off at the moment. Flick! And now it's on. This uh, this obviously powers this block here, which goes into this, and then that goes up here, and it's using the inverter thing, basically the same sort of coding as the inverter, which turns this on, which then goes up here and turns this on. Obviously if I want to invert this whole system, I can just uh, do that. See? So now it's off, but it's on, and now it's on, but it's off. So now I just invert it all. And you can take the signal from any level, which is quite useful. Um, I'm not going to do it here because I can't bother. Uh, this is another way. Now you can put redstone back on glowstone. Yay! Keep mobs away from your redstone because you can just boink. So this works like this. So this redstone goes into here, which powers this, which powers that, which powers this, which powers that, which powers this, which powers that, which powers that, which powers this, and it's on. Um, I don't know, this is probably going to be more useful for you. However, if you ever want to, as I said, block off a uh, thing, you can use the, uh, you can use this glowstone and just sort of, see, 
Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. No. I can keep going higher. I can take it off of multiple levels. I mean, I don't need to keep it on one level. Clocks. I almost forgot. Almost ended the video. There. Because I needed a button, obviously. Um, this is a clock. It constantly makes this flash. The only problem with that is you can't turn it off. And if you leave it on too long, like I did, you do that and it locks up. You can't turn it off without... Yeah. So this is a uh, clock design, which I actually just came up with before the video because, I mean, you know, I was bored. It uses an inverter and this. So obviously when this goes, I mean, that's just, that's just going to stop. I mean, I turned it off. But um, th this powers this piston, which moves the block over here. Now this, what this does is basically the vertical wiring bit here. The redstone powers this. It's, it has to be put onto the side of this dirt block. Okay, side of the dirt block. And um, it goes over here. So that powers this, which then sends the power to here, which starts up our clock like there, which takes our output here. And this comes off, goes down and into this block, which inverts the torch on the other side. If we come down here, we can see it go on and off. And lag. And if I remove this and uh, start it up again. Um, sorry, if I... I wasn't meant to remove the redstone torch. Power needs to be going into this block for this to work. So if I remove the not gate from this, which turns the torch off, obviously it's going to constantly power this block which means that this locks up in the exact same way as this. So if we quickly make one of these. So we start by making our clock. So we go two, this, two repeaters this way, two repeaters this way, move them up in the world, move them up in the tick count by right clicking. Any of you uh, new players out there? This is, this is mainly a tutorial for you guys. Obviously, more advanced players, they're all going to know this. They're going to breathe this. Uh, this will be easy. This will be just remove this piece of redstone. That's the difference between these two. Put a block of your choosing here. I'm going to just pick up a dirt, dirt block. And then underneath the dirt, where the dirt block is, you place your torch. Actually, that's not true. First, dig your trench. Remove that. Place another block. It can be anything except obviously something that doesn't take a redstone signal. Then put your torch here. So now when the piston pushes, completes the circuit here, goes through. But as I said before, this won't work unless you have your not gauge. This is pretty compact design. I think I like it. There's probably a more compact one out there on the Intima web. But this is simple, effective, and uh, it works. So now you can have all your disco ravingness. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's a quick clock. A little bit of tutorial there for the clock. Not really much of a tutorial here. You can sort of build them from sight and put them into things. I mean, you can have a clock power these. The fizz. Why are you calling me when I'm doing the new video for this, the new tutorial video? Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial video. I hope that the rambling hasn't put you off too much. Turn this redstone off. Wasting wasting power for the environment. I'm probably going to go into MC Edit and delete all of this because I don't really need it. Um, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from Industrial Dimensions. Uh, don't don't be shy to leave a like. It's always appreciated. Um, as I put this up, we have about 700 views. Thank you guys so much for that. It's actually great. Uh, it's great that we have that much that many views. Still nine subscribers, also very cool. Hopefully, maybe one day, ten subscriber special, yes? Maybe I'll blow up all of this stuff in here. Or maybe I'll do some tutorials on how to build some of this stuff. Um, okay, I'm ending this tutorial with the weird little ending. Uh, I find it very hard to end videos. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll end. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time, guys.